What's going on guys, Captain Chaos here with another LSP Default Tutorial. So guys, as today, Scripthook V has updated, also Race Plugin Hook and Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, they did an update as well. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to just show you how to, of course, install the new updates. And uh, let's hope our game works, okay? So the first thing we're going to do, guys, let's go ahead and search for our main directory. Uh, if, you, if you already know where your main directory is, guys, go ahead and get to it, okay? Uh, I got so much stuff going on right now. Um, it's not even funny. Let me see here. Documents can go. All right. So, let's go ahead and find our main directory real quick, alright? Let me see, Steam. And this is for Steam users that I'm doing now on, on, on the screen. Uh, Epic users, you can do the same thing. Just go to your main directory, okay? Go to your main directory for Epic users. Alright, since you've already located your uh, main, main directory here, guys, let's go ahead and minimize. Oops, let's go ahead and minimize that okay and let's see here once we do that so the first thing we want to do is we want to download these uh, updates all right so the first one we're going to download guys is going to download lspdfr okay hit, hit this download button here which says download lspdfr 4.8 build 7749 okay and right here guys it says some antivirus software programs mark lspdfr as a virus this is known to be false positive so if you haven't already turned off your antivirus and stuff like that, go ahead and turn it off so uh, your computer won't shut it down, okay? All right, so if you, if you are installing the LSPDFR04 for the first time, we strongly recommend you do the clean copy, okay? They they strong strongly strongly recommend you do it, okay? Uh, that's why I like doing fresh installs, okay, so for my stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this right now. Because uh, once I'm done with this, I'm going to do a fresh install. So, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go down here and hit this, download this file. Of course, download that. I'm sure everybody's done this already. Uh, manual install. All right. So, it says, thank you for your installation. Let's wait for it. There it goes. Okay. Next one's going to be Race Plug and Hook, guys. Go to Race Plug and Hook and hit that Download Now button. Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy. All right. The first one right here says 2245. Download that. All right. Next one's going to be uh, Script Hook V. You know what? Let's do this one first. Let's do uh, Script Hook V uh, right here, guys. We ha As you can see, they already updated it right here to 2245. Download that. Now the script hook v.net, um, I'm going to go ahead and just put that in anyway. Um, I'm sure they didn't have to do an update on this, but I'm going to go ahead and just do it, just, just to be on the safe side. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do script hook v.net. You're going to go all the way down right here where it says uh, assess 3, and you're going to hit the first, uh, the first one up here. All right, since those are now downloaded, Let's go ahead and go to downloads here, and we got them all here, okay? So let's go ahead and just highlight four of those, bring them into our main directory, okay? I'm sorry, your desktop, my bad. All right, let's move these out of the way. So the first thing we're going to do is going to do LSPDFR first, and then we're going to do race plug and hook, and we're going to do, uh, uh, let me see, what is that one? That's .net. So we'll do script hook v, and then we'll do script hook v .net the last. All right. Like you know, like I said, I don't think we need to do script hook v .net, but I'm gonna do it anyway just to be on the safe side. All right. So now your old race plugin hook, okay, the one that you already have on your on your desktop. Let's go ahead and just delete that. All right. You don't need that anymore. You know what I mean? Because I I've already made a I'm already made a fresh copy. Okay. So if you haven't made a fresh copy yet, guys. Uh. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you haven't made a fresh copy yet, which I've already done that on my uh, external drive right here, this is a fresh copy of Grand Theft Auto V. Well, not a fresh copy. This is just a copy of it, all right? I got a copy over here for uh, my other uh, external hard drive. 
but then I use this for my regular games here. So make sure you have a copy somewhere, okay? Just in case something happens, uh, you can do that. Before, um, if you still have, like say if you still have like what I have here, all right? So um, I have a copy of the 2215 version of Rage Plugin Hook, okay? If you have a copy of that, keep it. All right, keep it, keep it. Just in case something happens, you can revert back to that, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go to our main directory here, guys. And make sure this is, yeah, this is mine, okay? All right, we're going to come over here. We're going to blow that up real quick. And then we're going to do LSPDFR first, okay? All right. Once we get done with that, let's go ahead and bring it down here. And of course, leave you some space, guys, for the installation. All right, this is the space I'm talking about. This this white area. You you don't want to go anywhere where it highlights. All right. So, LSPDFR zero four eight seven seven four nine. Okay, what we're gonna do is gonna highlight every single one of these guys, and we are going to, of course, deselect double double dots license. And the README, okay? Make sure you take that README out. Once you've done that, guys, let's go ahead and bring that to our main directory, all right? So once that's done, it was, it's, it's going to tell you to, it's going to move all these uh, files here. It shouldn't take long. And it's going to ask you to replace 1,079 files. Hit yes, replace. And it shouldn't take long at all. There you go. Done. Everything that's blue, of course, is what it, uh, that was installed, okay? So we're going to do that. We're going to refresh our main directory. We're going to get out of that. And we're going to... I usually move it down here just in case I mess something up. I, I, I can find it real quick. All right, next is going to be Rage Plugin Hook, okay? This is a new version of Rage Plugin Hook. Go ahead and highlight every single one of these guys. And let's go ahead and deselect double license, or the double dots, license, SDK, and also readme. All right? Make sure those four uh, folders and the README, I'm sorry, the three folders and the README are deselected. Same thing, we're going to drag and drop to our main directory. Replace those files there, guys. All right, go ahead and refresh your main directory. Get out of there. Delete or move that. Like I said, I, I like to move mine around. All right, next one is going to be uh, script hook V, guys. So we need bin. Go ahead and click on bin. The only things we need, guys, is script hook v.dll and then put 8.dll, okay? All right. You see where it says right here, this 2017, you don't need that. All right, let's go ahead and move these two folders into your main directory, drag and drop, and then there you go. Script hook v is updated. All right, we're going to move that out of the way. And like I said, script hook v.net, we don't really, I don't know if we really need to, but what we're going to do is we're going to, Select script hook v.net 3.dll and we're gonna select script hook v.net 2.dll and we're gonna select script hook v.net asi. Okay, just those three right there. All right, so once you selected three, the uh, uh, those three folders, let's go ahead and drag and drop them to our main directory. Go ahead and replace those files, and they're replaced. All right, so you're done there. So let's go ahead and move that down here. Minimize your main directory, guys, and let's go to our open IV real quick, all right? Let's go ahead and open up our open IV. Just to make sure that there's no anything that we have to do there. All right. Make sure you hit the edit mode button. And it looks like we don't have to do anything right now. All right. Let's go ahead and get out of that. All right. Next one is, guys, remember that uh, race plugin hook that you already have on your PC, on your desktop? If you deleted it, it's fine. If you haven't, just move it out of the way, you know, uh, it's not a big deal. <clears throat> All right, let's go back to our main directory, guys. Which one is which? Okay, I need to get rid of that one. All right, so this is my main directory here, okay? So what we need to do now is we need to, you know what, let me make sure this is the right one. Okay, yeah, because I have two, two, uh files where I had them at all right so let's go ahead and do this real quick let's go ahead and scroll down to race plugin hook here 
you're going to right click on race plug and hook you're going to send to and you're going to send it to your desktop okay you see it just pop up right there minimize that guys and now let's go ahead and double click on this rage here all right of course it's going to ask you to uh, read the disclaimer and just hit accept and it's going to you know do that stuff where it says the current game version is not supported install game version 2215 okay just press yes okay just press yes on that it's going to back up that game version and it's going to go it's going to revert to the newer game version all right so just don't freak out on that go to game settings revert game version okay see now we that we are now supported for 2245 okay now go to your plugins and make sure that your plugins are loaded and then of course check uh, check that uh, check all and then hit that load all plugins on startup all right you're going to hit save and close okay now since that is done all right i'm going to go back to my open iv you don't have to do this if you don't want but i like to go back to open iv just to make sure everything is 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 uh, the same Da, da, da. Come on, starting. Let's go. Usually they don't take this long, but all right. Now check this out, guys. That's why I like to check my Open IV. Okay, since you've already done everything, since you installed all the new mods and stuff like that, it's good to check your Open IV. That's why I like to do this. So go ahead and go to your Open IV, and let's go ahead and hit this Edit Mode button here. All right, and we're gonna hit this blue red thing, or this blue. Wow, colorblind kid this green box here says copy nude version to mods folder you're going to hit that all right it says any changes you made mods update rpf will be lost we didn't make any changes the only thing we did was we made uh we installed new new mods or uh, updated new uh, new version so just press yes all right now open iv is now currently on the new version okay hit that mods folder go ahead and get out of there now we are going to go back to our race plug-in hook and launch the game and see what happens. So far, we haven't had any issues right now, so I think uh, we've done a good, a good install. Um, again, if you just follow everything that I do, you shouldn't have any problems. If you do have problems, uh, it can be anything, guys. Like I said, it's it's better to do a fresh install every time there's a new update for Grand Theft Auto V, uh, because you just just doing a fresh install. All right, uh, this won't work for everybody. Okay, it won't work for everybody. So I'm just let everybody know that right now. It's not going to work for every single person. Okay. Um, if it does work for you, I'm glad it does. But if it don't work for you guys, I apologize. You know, this is this is what you got to go through in order to get your game working. Okay. And again, if it don't work for you guys, revert back to the 2215. I mean, you know, and go from there. But uh, it, and of course, if it still don't work for you, go ahead, just go ahead and do a fresh install. You know, un uninstall Grand Theft Auto Five and then reinstall it, and then you know, just you're gonna have to install all the mods that you had in there before. I know it's a lengthy process, but hey, your game will work 100% better. As you can see, that all my uh, plugins are, of course, loading. Okay, and that's why we went to our Rage Rage settings and went ahead and made sure. All that was already going to be loaded into the game while it's starting. Alright. Alright, now, new console mods added. Alright, so it looks it's looking pretty good right now. It, if it crashes on, on first startup, guys, it, it's no big deal. Restart your computer and try it again. Uh, sometimes when you put new mods in, sometimes it's going to give you that. Give you that uh, that issue 
And there we go. We are in the game, guys. Uh, like I said, hopefully if this works, guys. Uh, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, like you know, like the like the video, and we can go. I'm gonna go ahead and just go on duty, just in case, just in case if something happens. All right, it looks like I'm already on duty. Okay, good. Awesome. By uh, loading all your plugins on Startup, guys, that, that that's what you get right there. So it looks to me that hopefully every, all my mods are updated, hopefully. And let's see here. Okay, I'm going to have to do everything before. All my mods are probably going to be need to be updated like uh, ELS uh, all the Bajojo mods and stuff like that so it's no big deal let's make sure everything is working before we do anything let me see if my stop the ped works and all my mods let me see here let's go ahead and stop this guy I'm not going to call them dispatch or anything like that. I just want to make sure everything works. All right. And it looks like my stop the ped needs to be updated. So, and right here, guys, where it says attention, edit LSPDFR, keys, INI, and stuff like that. I got all that pretty much saved in my computer, which is a good idea for everybody. Okay. Which is a good idea for everybody. So, what I'm talking about is, let me go ahead and just exit out of this game here. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right. All right, so what I'm talking about, guys, is this right here. If you go to Documents, okay, I save everything. All my uh, plugins and stuff like that, like, uh, let's see here, keys. This is LSPDFR keys, guys. What I do is I save this, okay? I save this so when I have to do an update, I just copy all this and I paste it into the keys, right? If you know what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about here. All right, we're well, going to go to your main directory, Okay, and when it says LSPDFR and it says keys, all that's going to be back to default. Okay, all is going to be back to default. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to compare them. All right, let me see. It's the same one. I think it's the same one. I'm just make sure. That'd probably be better if I just. Uh, let me see here. I think I've screwed up somewhere. Uh, keys right here. All right, this is the keys that I had in my desktop, and this is the keys I believe I had. Um, so it looks almost looked the same, but I'm sure there's some type of uh, issue that was, of course, made. I think I've got the both the same ones. I oh, know this is confusing, guys. I know this is confusing. So again, let's go to our LSPDFR. Which I'm already here. Alright, LSPDFR, let's go to keys. Okay, this is gonna be the first one. You know what I mean? Let me put this over here. You can't. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so this is that one. And then I'm gonna open this one. Okay. I know it's pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. So what I do is I highlight every single one of these guys and I paste them into this one which is the keys alright the keys for LSPDFR which almost looks the same almost looks the same but I know there's some type of uh, where it says the stop the pad stuff things like that you know what I mean so I mean it's not a big deal about that stuff so and then also I got uh, grammar police I got my dash cam call out manager uh, Play location display I got pullover so this is what uh, I have for pullover it's a left shift key so it it changes sometimes so I just make sure I, I got that 
stop the ped all my stop the ped files are in here anything that was changed i went ahead and copied it so just in case the stop the ped needed to be updated i can just copy everything and put it into that folder guys it's not a big deal man it's not a big deal to keep all these safe you know just to uh basically keep all your stuff back in order if you know what i mean um so guys uh there you go i'm gonna have to of course reinstall all my mods which, like I said, it's almost better, I mean, it's easier to do a fresh install because, you know, how you're having to put all your mods back into your game and then there's a possibility of your game crashing, which, you know, it always happens anyway. But it's always good to do a fresh install and that, that's what I'm going to do. I already got a tutorial on my uh, YouTube channel on how to do a fresh install and also uh, doing like a... Uh, deleting your 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 folders and reinstalling them and stuff like that so just go check that out guys <clears throat> so pretty much this is the end of the tutorial guys if y'all have any questions please ask on my uh, discord okay I have a small uh, support team on there also me, uh, met, you know message me on the video guys uh, I'm usually give feedback you know pretty quick if I'm working or if I'm at a fire of course, when I'm on a fire, I can't really, you know, pay attention to my phone a lot. So, again, any questions y'all have, please, please just ask. And uh, if y'all have issues with the game, guys, again, makes it just it'll be easier if you just do a fresh install, okay? So, guys, I hope this you know helped you out. If it you know if it has, please hit that subscribe button. And guys, I see you on the next LSPDFR tutorial. Thank you. Everybody, get your fucking hands up.